This video is a demonstration on how to build a custom built security camera system on our website. So when you get to the page to build the custom built security camera system, you'll notice that your first option that you have to choose from is your DVR. Currently, we offer all of our DVR lines as an option. So it's defaulted at the least expensive DVR we sell, which is our four channel economy series. And then you can choose through the rest of the economy series, the 8 and the 16, and our elite mini series, which is similar to the economy series, except for that you can also do PTZ control and you have HDMI video output, so HD video output. Then we have our elite series, our full size DVRs, uh, which allow for up to four two terabyte hard drives and a DVD burner. And then you have our ultimate series, which records at the highest resolution available in DVRs, which is D1 in real time, 30 frames per second on all channels at the same time. So for this particular uh, exercise, I'm going to go ahead and select an eight channel elite series DVR. Then you'll see new options are calculated. Now, one of the nice features are that you can click here on these question marks and they will provide you with extra information as to um, what the option is about. So it'll give you an explanation about each of the options. So we'll go ahead and choose a hard drive for this particular DVR. Uh, let's say that we want four terabytes of hard drive or storage space for this particular DVR. You can also, by the way, choose RAID configured hard drives. So what that means is that there will be a redundant hard drive installed along with the main hard drive. So if you chose, for example, two two terabytes, then you'd have one main or slave hard drive. And then you would also get an extra hard drive configured for RAID, which means it's doing redundant recording as a backup in case the first hard drive should fail. So that's an option we do offer on our full-size DVRs. So <clears throat> your next option is the DVD burner. Uh, DVD burner allows you to back up video directly to a DVD, which you can give to authorities or to whoever is interested in that video. But if you choose not to go with a DVD burner, you can also download video through the USB thumb drive or over the network, which is the way I like to do it from any PC. You can connect remotely and download the video directly to your computer. Then you have your camera options. The first four cameras are defaulted to the least expensive cameras that we sell um, because in order to get the discount that comes with this custom package, you're required to purchase at least a DVR and four cameras. Now you'll notice here again where the question mark is, click here for more info, that if you click that, you will see a selection of all of the cameras that we offer and a description of those cameras and the specifications for those cameras. So that is available to you right there as you're selecting your cameras. So for this particular purpose, I'll go ahead and leave uh, the first two cameras as 420 domes. The next two, I'm going to choose our most popular camera, which is the ODLX 550 IR50. This particular camera uh, is a 550 TVL infrared white vandal dome which is good for indoors or outdoors so it's a great all-around camera and you really could configure an entire system with just this camera and you'd have pretty much everything you need uh, so I'll go ahead and set up two of those cameras then I'm gonna choose uh, camera number five and I'm gonna go ahead and add a pan tilt zoom for that one uh, just a 3x PTZ and for the last camera let me just go ahead and choose a uh, motion detector covert camera Camera 7 and 8, I'm not going to go ahead and purchase right now. I'll just get six cameras with my 8-channel system that is right here um, because I can always add two channels later. So that's one of the nice uh, features of this tool is even though you're getting an 8-channel system, you could just buy five or six or seven cameras if you want. You don't need to get eight. Again, if I'm unsure about which cameras I'm interested in, just click the question mark and I can go through the different models that are available. So now we move on to whether or not I want to record audio. All of our DVRs have the capability of recording audio. 
they need to be connected to a powered microphone. So if I choose to record audio, all I do is choose I want to record audio. Again, you will find more information about that particular feature right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to uh, record audio and then you'll notice the next option pops up which allows me to select how many powered microphones I need. Your microphones will come with the connectors and the power splitter that allows you to share power with the camera so everything you need will come together in, uh, in with the order. So if I order two microphones I'll get all the accessories I need along with it. Now I get to choose my cables. Again, if you choose information, it'll discuss the different cable types that are available. However, in this particular case, you can choose to either go with no cables. Uh, if you already have cables installed, you're just replacing the cameras in your DVR, you might choose to go that route. Uh, you can also choose to go with the easy plug and play cable system. If you go that route, you'll see here that all of your uh, connectors are already uh, installed on the cables because these are prefabricated cables so this is really the easiest way to go for somebody who doesn't want to use any tools uh, or mess with bulk cable. If you go this route you can choose between 25 foot, 50 foot, 100 foot and 150 foot cables. Now if you chose microphones you will also need to make sure that you have an equal number of cables that have the audio feature along with the microphones. So in this case I chose two microphones so for two microphones I need to make sure I choose at least two cables that have audio. So all you'll do is make your selection and then click buy. Now if you do not have microphones so let me go ahead and get rid of the microphone feature then you'll see that these cable options will go away and you'll be presented with just options for power and video. So these are the standard cables for plug and play. Your next option for cables is Siamese cable, RG591822. If you choose Siamese cable, Siamese cable is what's most often used by security companies or the professionals that are doing installation. Siamese cable comes in boxes of 500 feet. They need to be cut to size, but it means you won't have any slack or wasted cable. And they also need connectors connected to each end. Uh, so Siamese cable is compromised, comprised of RG59 coax cable and 18 gauge two wire power cable and they're combined together in basically one cable so it's one run. So it makes it very convenient. So if you choose to go this route you're going to choose how many boxes of Siamese cable you need so I'm going to say two in this case. Make sure you select buy here. You check that. By checking that you add it into the calculation. Then you're going to need connectors. We sell three different types of connectors. We sell twist on connectors which require absolutely no tools and they're probably the most common connectors that we sell. We sell crimp on connectors which do require tools and compression connectors which also require tools. If you should choose compression or crimp on connectors we also offer the tool right here. In this case I'm going to go with twist ons. You're going to need two for each camera, one for each end and since we ordered six cameras we'll need 12 connectors and then I'll click buy. For power leads you're going to need power leads to connect the 18-2, the 18 gauge two wire cable to the power input of the camera. The 18-2 is just two leads the power leads will convert the two leads to a 2.1 millimeter input. So I'm going to go ahead and get one for each camera. That's what you need. So I need six of these and select buy. Your next option for cable would be category 5 cable. Cat 5 cable requires the use of video balins. At this time I'm not going to go over that. If you're familiar with the use of Cat5 with video balance, you can choose that route and get your video balance along with the Cat5. So uh, power supplies are our next option. You're definitely going to want power supplies for your system. You'll need power to run all of the cameras. Since we chose Siamese cable, power is 
uh, as an option comes in power distribution boxes. So you get four channel, eight channel, or 16 channel power distribution boxes. Uh, in this case, I'm going to get an eight channel power distribution box. If you had chosen to go with the plug and play system, the plug and play system will can also use our easy plug power supply, uh, but in this case we chose Siamese cable. The last option are, is PTZ cameras. If you did order a PTZ camera, you'll be presented with the option for a control cable. Control cable is an extra cable that needs to be run between the back of the DVR's for RS-485 port and the PTZ camera, and it's used so that the DVR can control the camera. This is what allows you to control and move, pan, tilt the camera from the DVR, from your computer, or from your smartphone. So just estimate the amount of feet that you'll need, let's say 100 feet, and select Buy. Once you've made all of these options, all you need to do then is just add to cart. And if you were to choose to go with, let's say, an easy plug and play system, just to show you the different options that are available, you'll notice here you'll then have your cables to choose from, which you can choose from 25, 50, 100, or 150 feet, as we discussed. Then the power supplies, you have a couple of new ones, the four channel easy plug power supply, the eight camera easy plug power supply, is also available and then you will need power leads to connect the um, the um, power end of the 18-2, the leads of the 18-2 on the Siamese cable to a power box if you chose to go with a power box. If you choose instead to go with an easy camera plug power supply, uh, let's just say two four channels in this case, then you'll notice the other option disappears. So this is how you set up your uh, custom-built security camera system. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Of course, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call.